the hand, wave the hand, come and say Caribbean. Wave the hand, wave the hand, wave the hand, come and say number one. Come and ready for the competition. Give us the intimidation. Yeah, back on the Sports Mac Zone, and we're talking about cricket, the Ghana Amazon Warriors. They are champions of the Caribbean Premier League T20 competition. They beat Trent Bega Night Riders in the final on Sunday night, and they have been celebrating since, of course, an outstanding achievement. Remember, they had gone to five finals previously, and they managed to snatch the title on their sixth attempt. The manager of the Ghana Amazon Warriors team, um, their former four-day captain, um, outstanding player, Mr. Johnson himself, Leon Johnson, joins us on the show now. Um, Leon Johnson, welcome to the Sports Max Zone. It's a pleasure to have you. And once again, we're having you on the Sports Max Zone following an outstanding performance by Guyana, this time in the T20 version of the game. How are you doing? Hi, thanks for having me. Um, that is my yeah, I'm good. Um, running on about an hour sleep in the last 48 hours, but I'm good. Happy. Yeah, certainly, without a doubt, I can understand the joy that you must be feeling. Can you describe the last 36 to 48 hours for us? Yeah, it's it's, it's been very good. I've seen all Guyanese. Uh, Guyanese are very passionate. Passionate about cricket. Uh, has been 11 long seasons. Now we've gone through the less that that and uh, in any kind of cricket. So um, yeah, the, the feeling the, <laughs> it's one of ecstasy. Um, it's still sinking in. Obviously, I mean it, it was something to behold on on Sunday night. You know uh, the celebrations after, but I think even leading up to to the to the championship game, the support at Providence. You know, it's always been good, but I think it was a little extra special. This yeah, I gather there was some sort of a parade on Monday. What was that like? It was it was good. It was great actually. Yesterday afternoon we we were out in the parade. But shows what it means to to Amazon Warriors fans that you know we were able to cross the line. They they lined the streets in in thousands. Um, you know, to to celebrate with us. And you know, we we were very happy that we did. A lot of us could have been there. Um, we extended, a lot of guys extended their stay, so, so that they... Yeah. yeah, you're a former player and now manager of this Amazon Warriors team. How much does it warm your heart, the type of support um, that the Warriors got from the fans, not just after winning the title, but as soon as the guy in the leg of this tournament started, it was evident, the love for the game in your country how much does it warm your heart it does, it does warm my heart it's that we, we we treat cricket here like a religion um you know it it, it, it was very emotional to be honest sunday um, a parade as well you know i, I really didn't expect that many support but be in a working day on the afternoon everybody trying to get home from work or school and still turned up out there, saw kids in there in the school uniform up to school out there, you know, showing appreciation and, you know, I think it goes both ways. We, we appreciate the, the fans as well. Not the team guy, no. we have a, a large support, a large support all over the world. So, yeah, it's very, it's very warm. Yeah, Leon, whether you are, you know, player, captain, manager, you seem to have the magic touch as you have pointed out to us before on this show. Um, can you give us an idea of what was different this time around for the Guyana Amazon Warriors that eventually brought you over the line? <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of things um, different. I mean, I would probably have to be in there the last five years to, to be able to tell you what was different. Um, I played in 24. Unfortunately, I was a band, one of the band that lost was one of those five finals. Um, I think my my situation or our situation then was was very unfortunate. Where the rain stopped play at eight in the evening or seven thirty in the evening, we couldn't get get back on. Uh, you know, uh, so that has lived with me for for a long time. Yeah. But 
you know, to be able to just win it in a different capacity is great. I think, you know, um, Lance Kluvna, brilliant. He came in as our head this year and, and you know, he's, a, he's an exceptional thing. I, I made a post on Facebook saying that, you know, Lance was, after the 99, Lance was, Lance became a favorite of a lot of people, you know, including me, a very young me, made an impression on me. And to be able to work with him, the man himself was 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 a pleasure. But you know, he came, and you know, together we we tried to create a a, a good environment. It turned out to be a great environment where guys were were relaxed and you know, guys were willing to play with each other. And we just figured, you know, once we get we get to the back end of the tournament with everyone, you know, still healthy and, and in good form. Uh, we don't see a reason why we had a kept the core of players, the franchise be able to keep to keep a core of players who've been playing for the last four to five years. Um, you know, those guys were the last knockout games as well, but I think they've matured now. And a lot of those guys have played leagues around the world and they have gained a lot of experience. Yeah, and Leon, player turned manager, that must be very, very different for you. Were there any instances during this CPL that you felt like you just wanted to pad up and go play? And how difficult was it for you managing big personalities? Because that might be a bit different as well. <laughs> no, there was no time that I wanted to pad up and go play. I do, I, um, well, it, but I think I was hearing. Yeah, the promise is far enough. I don't know who in the warm ups. But um, yeah, it was, it's, as I said, the environment was was quite good. And to be honest, all the guys there, with the exception of, of Sayin and Azam, Dwayne, I would have played with or against. Um, even Imran, I would have played a test, a couple of tests against Imran. So, you know, all those guys in there would have had a good relationship with whilst I was playing, whether I played against them or with them, even our analyst who, who um, was South African, I know him from a long time ago, so it was, it was pretty easy to be honest. And you know, we, our team, there, there are no guys with big egos in there, so, so that made it easier for us to um, you know, manage them as well. Yeah, well, let, before you go, Leon, I want to ask you one question because Nikola Tumchandani, yeah. the young commentator, said on the show yesterday that the sort of enthusiasm and the, the impact that he got from the atmosphere of the final on, on Sunday night was nothing like he has ever seen in, in cricket, nothing he had experienced before like that. Now, he's young, he's 21 or 22 years old, so obviously he hasn't seen as much cricket yeah. as, as you have, Leon. But but was he off the mark or or was he on point with with his description of the atmosphere and how unbelievable it was? Leon? Hmm. I think I think we lost him. I, I, w I was about to ask him the same thing you did, uh, Mariah, about wanting to pad up because <laughs> we were just talking about him in the office uh, in the past couple of days. Yeah. And uh, there was the feeling that someone was surprised that he was only 36 years old. He only recently turned 36 years old. Um, Polly's 36, Bravo is 39. So, you know, in the, in the moment of victory and celebration, it was a good question to ask him as a professional cricketer himself. Yeah if he felt as if he, he missed it. Yeah, I've always spoken to cricketers who retired, and I mean, what made this one even special is they won this year, so I'm sure he would love to be a part of the setup. But I like um, his response, because the team was so good, there yeah. was no need for him to feel yeah. like that. Because you usually feel like that when your team is losing, right? Ricardo, you're the skipper <laughs> of the Sportsmax team, <laughs> that I'm yet to see play one match, and Ricardo has not selected me on the team. I'm the water girl. Did I even make that role? Anyways, <laughs> oh, his mic isn't working again. No, listen. Clearly, today is a is a breaking news day on the sports magazine because Mariah is giving me a lot of new information. Um, so thank you very much for all that information, Mariah. But I also think Leon Johnson is in the perfect place, Lance and Mariah, because 
he has shown over time to be a quality leader and a quality manager of men yes. in his role as captain of the Guyana four-day team. And so I think when you, it becomes easier to move into that management role now where you are doing a similar thing um, in terms of guiding processes and um, leading the men, helping them to achieve um, their full potential. And certainly this time around with him in that management role, the Amazon Warriors were able to achieve their full potential by winning the CPL. So I think it's a good look and he was in the perfect place. Um, I hope I don't get knocks for saying this, but I've never really seen Leon Johnson as a T20 juggernaut. Um, I've always felt he was a solid batsman. Yes. Um, but if you, if you said to me, um, T20 batsman out of Guyana, Leon Johnson would not readily come to mind, um, to be honest. So I think he was in the perfect role and he did play that role perfectly, I think. Yeah? Mm. All right, we go to a break on the Sportsmax Zone. We still will be talking cricket when we return, but we'll be talking about no cricket at a particular venue.